Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. Uh, I realize that my mic may suck, but I'm getting a new one for Christmas. So you guys just long suffer with me a little bit uh, longer and we'll, it, it'll be all good. All right, today I want to uh, continue our analysis of the precious metals. So we're going to run through some of these and see what's going on. Uh, the chart you're looking at right now is the uh, silver future, silver spot. Uh, as of yesterday's close, uh, we closed down 5 cents or down 0.17%. Prices closed lower than they opened with weak bids going into the close. A spinning top occurred, and that's a candle with a small real body. Spinning tops identify a session in which there is little price action, as defined by the difference between the open and the close. During a rally or near new highs, a spinning top can be a sign that prices are losing momentum and that the bulls may be in trouble. That's not information I like to hear because I am holding long positions in silver. All right, looking at market sentiment, we have a pulse scan reading of 9.96. The market pulse is positive since it's trading above its zero signal line. The pulse scan crossed below the swing VIX, creating a downtrend channel as of five periods ago. The last signal was an overbought sell five periods ago. Since the last swing VIX signal, the silver's price has increased 2.68% in its range from a high of $30.70 to a low of $28.01. Taking a look at momentum, currently the trend is very bullish as silver is still under heavy accumulation. The trend strength is also strong as the bull trend continues. Taking a look now at our price projections. For the week, or I should say, let's go with the monthly. Our bull market uptrend 12 to 18 month price target is still $46.77. The long-term trend line resistance is currently at $30.70, and the long-term trend line support is currently at $22.66. And again, if we do get into a bubble, which we are not yet, but looking at bubble phase 1, 2, and 3, uh, bubble phase 1 would be a 24-36 month price target of $62.84. Phase 2 which is our 42 to 60 month uh, outlook is $78.91 and phase 3 which is our 72 month plus target of $94.98 and again this is uh, a very rare occurrence to have phase uh, phase 2 or phase 3 normally uh, it's more likely we'll hit a if we do get into a bubble we'll hit phase one but getting into a phase two or three is usually pretty rare so you never know things do happen and it has happened in other instruments before we'll just have to wait and see what happens here all right lastly looking at volatility silver did close below the upper band yesterday by 18 percent we do have a high volatility alert we did have a uh, a break of the upper volatility uh, uh, upper volatility band which occurred so uh, that usually means that we can expect uh, some very wide price wings in the coming session. So there is a uh, an alert there to be had. All right, let's go over and let's take a look now at AGQ. All right, looking at uh, at AGQ, we have here um, pretty much the same situation, just a different uh, technical chart pattern. Uh, AGQ closed down uh, 89 cents or down 0.61%. And again, so closing down 89 cents, down 0.61%, with weak bids going into the close as well as it tracks the uh, the silver spot, silver futures price pretty well. It's a uh, triple three times ETF. Uh, we have three white candles occurred in the last three days, and although these candles were not big enough to create three white soldiers, the steady upward pattern is still bullish. Market sentiment, we have a pulse scan reading of 4.75. The market pulse is positive since it's trading above its zero signal line. The pulse scan crossed below the swing VIX, creating a downtrend channel as of five periods ago. And the last signal was an overbought sell five periods ago. And the last since the last swing VIX signal, AGQ's price has increased 5.34% 
and has ranged from a high of $158.23 a share to a low of $131.14 per share. Taking a look at uh, price momentum, currently the trend is very bullish and we are still under heavy accumulation in the civil, silver metal. Looking at our monthly price projections right now, the uh, bull market uptrend 12 to 18 month price target for AGQ is set at $274.91. Our long term trend line resistance is currently at 158.23 and our long term trend line support is currently at $99.89. Looking at possible uh, bubble market projections, if we get a phase one, which is our 24 to 36 month price target, we're looking at a high of $391.59. Phase 2 is $508.27. And Phase 3 will be $624.95. As for volatility, we close below the upper band by 20.4%. So basically what we are saying is we believe that uh, we're still in a, in a bull market in the precious metals even though we're taking some pullbacks here uh, possible first target in the pullback status will be here and this will put us around one hundred and thirty two dollars and forty uh, forty two cents on the AGQ that will be our first support or I should say really our second support or it, it will be a major support if that's broken then that means we're on pace to head back into the Kubo cloud and that's around the 110 to $100 level. Pretty far from where we are, but it's not out of the realm of possibility if we're going to head back to trend line support. Trend line support right now is about right here at $99.89. So it is possible if the pullback continues that we would uh, most likely test the red support line here, just like we did back here and like we did back here. Prices like to overshoot the trend line supports before reversing and heading back up again. So that's what we could expect here. Especially after hitting new highs. After being in an overbought condition like we did here. These three white bars here represent an overbought position in the AGQ. Then we reverse, build support, and then we head back up again. So again, pulse wave breakout pull back to the pulse wave entry only to continue. Well our last pulse wave was here and so we could test possibly 127.67 in the AGQ all things being equal. Alright so that's something to watch. Uh, it's not a pretty picture if you're holding long positions but hey uh, we, we're in this game to to make money and sometimes you have to ride out positions before they turn around and work for you. So anyway, remember, take what you can, give nothing back.